In the realm of cinema, there exist those moments that whisper across time, casting a spell that lingers like the first touch of a gentle breeze on a summer's eve. And amid this magical tapestry, one name stands resolute on the waterfront, a timeless gem that clasps the heart and spirit in a cinematic embrace. As you journey back to your very first encounter with this 1954 masterpiece, do you recall the flicker of anticipation in your eyes, the thrill of the unknown that danced in your chest? Perhaps it was the poignant symphony of Marlon Brando's artistry, his impassioned portrayal of Terry Malloy, a man bound by loyalties and crushed by conscience. Or was it the echoing cries of the docks, the haunting serenade of ships and shadows, and the symphony of lives woven into the gritty fabric of the waterfront? Your memory, a treasure chest of emotions and fragments, holds the key to those indelible moments that breathe life into this cinematic wonder. Now, let us traverse the misty alleys of time and delve into the riveting depths of this film. Beyond the shimmering facade, what stories lie nestled in the folds of its creation? What secrets and surprises unfurl like sails in the wind, carrying us across the canvas of random facts that paint the broader picture? From unexpected casting twists to the serendipitous dance of fate that shaped its narrative, these tidbits illuminate the film's journey from inception to immortality. As you embark on this journey of discovery, remember the way on the waterfront first whispered to your soul, inviting you to partake in its tale of grit, redemption, and human spirit. Let its echoes remind you of the boundless power of cinema, etching moments into our lives that are as vivid today as they were when they first unfurled. And so, as the curtain rises on our exploration of this cinematic marvel, brace yourself for the revelations that await, the tapestry of insights that will enrich your connection to a film that has left an indelible mark on the annals of history. 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 Hit on the waterfront, a symbolic battle of hawks and pigeons in Aaliyah Kazan's 1954 cinematic masterpiece on the waterfront, a hidden war rages beneath the grime and sweat of the New York docks. The battle lines are drawn, the ruthless union boss Johnny Friendly and his gang of thugs, known as the Hawks, versus the powerless dock workers, symbolically referred to as pigeons. This clash between power and vulnerability is woven throughout the film, underpinning its narrative and visual elements. From the opening scene, where Joey is brutally pushed off a rooftop by Friendly's henchmen, the symbolism is evident. The Hawks, perched above like predators, wait for their prey, Joey, the unsuspecting pigeon. Terry Malloy, played by Marlon Brando, appears to run with the Hawks, yet his association with pigeons is more than meets the eye. He tends to his own flock of pigeons, trapped in cages, hinting at his suppressed desires for freedom and redemption. The docks themselves become the battlegrounds of symbolism. When Friendly tosses tokens to the dock workers, they scramble and bob like pigeons going after scattered seeds. Even Terry's poignant speech about the town having hawks that prey on pigeons resonates with this overarching metaphor. The dichotomy of hawks and pigeons comes full circle as Terry's transformation unfolds. Despite running with the hawks, his conscience weighs heavy, aligning him with the pigeons, the oppressed, the voiceless. His journey towards redemption is rooted in shedding the predatory instincts and embracing the vulnerability of the pigeons he cares for. Interestingly, the DVD version of the film delves into the redemption theme further, featuring original promotional posters that label the story as the redemption of Terry Malloy. The character's name change from Malone to Malloy in the final draft emphasizes this narrative arc. In this masterful composition, Leonard Bernstein's incidental music serves as a unique accompaniment. Notably, On the Waterfront stands as the sole non-musical film for which Bernstein composed, amplifying the emotional undercurrents of the characters and their struggles. As the credits roll on On the Waterfront, the echoes of this symbolic battle remain etched in our minds. The hawk's dominance over the pigeons, Terry's journey from predator to protector, and the resonant notes of Bernstein's music all coalesce to craft a tale of redemption and resilience, forever etched into cinematic lore. lore. Marlon Brando's portrayal of Terry Malloy in the 1954 film On the Waterfront secured its place in cinematic history. Ranked as the second greatest performance of all time by Premiere Magazine in 2006, Brando's masterful embodiment of the conflicted longshoreman remains an enduring testament to his acting prowess. The movie not only captivated audiences with Brando's magnetic presence but also made its mark in the annals of the Academy Awards. Sharing the spotlight with classics like Gone with the Wind and From Here to Eternity, on the waterfront tied to then record for eight Oscar wins. This achievement underscored the film's impact on the industry, elevating it to the echelons of cinematic achievement. Yet, it wasn't just the accolades that defined on the waterfront, it was the unscripted moments that added an authentic touch to the narrative. The iconic I Could Have Been a Contender scene, in particular, showcased Brando's improvisational skills. During filming, Brando interjected lines like, How's mom? And do you think the Yankees are going to win it this year? Prompting director Aaliyah Kazan to bluntly intervene with, Buddy, cut the crap. In the grand tapestry of cinema, on the waterfront stands as a tour de force, propelled by Marlon Brando's exceptional embodiment of Terry Malloy. Its record-tying Academy Award wins and Brando's improvisational moments cement its status as a cinematic gem that continues to resonate with audiences worldwide. Marlon Brando's personal connection shaped his iconic role in On the Waterfront and 1954 second cinematic gem on the waterfront. 
Marlon Brando delivered a performance that etched his name in film history, but behind the scenes, an unexpected alliance added a layer of authenticity to his portrayal. During preparation, Brando formed an unlikely friendship with a youthful Al Lettery, a connection to the real-world underworld. Lettery's brush with actual mafiosos gave Brando unique insights that he skillfully channeled into his performance. Intriguingly, their bond came full circle as Lettery eventually shared the screen with Brando on the night of the following day and the iconic The Godfather. Decades later, in his autobiography Songs My Mother Taught Me, Brando pulled back the curtain on the film's deeper intentions. He mused that the film held a metaphorical argument, a symbolic justification by director Elia Kazan and writer Bud Schulberg. According to Brando, the characters and narrative served as vehicles to grapple with the moral dilemma of betraying confidants for the greater good. Brando himself embodied Terry Malloy, standing as the embodiment of courage against malevolence. Yet, an incongruity existed within the film's casting. Eva Marie Saint's character was written as a 19-year-old, while the actress herself was a mature 30 at the time of the movie's release. The contrast adds an intriguing layer to her portrayal, as she skillfully embodied youthful innocence despite the age disparity. As the decades have passed, On the Waterfront remains a testament to the convergence of personal experiences and cinematic artistry. Brando's dynamic portrayal, shaped by real-life connections, stands as a testament to the power of authenticity in storytelling. In the end, the film encapsulates not only a gripping narrative but also the intricate interplay between reality and fiction. The and fiction. The and fiction. Marlon Brando's iconic Oscar odyssey, Lost, Found, and Sold in 1954, on the waterfront made waves in the film industry, but the ripples of its production extend beyond the silver screen. Marlon Brando's portrayal of Terry Malloy earned him the coveted Oscar for Best Actor. However, the fate of that golden statuette took an unexpected turn. It vanished from Brando's possession, prompting whispers of theft. Yet, like a plot twist in a noir drama, the award resurfaced years later, across the Atlantic. Reports surfaced that Brando's Oscar had gone missing, leaving Hollywood abuzz. Speculations surrounding the mysterious disappearance swirled, with fingers pointing in every direction. The truth, as it often does, emerged in due course. A London auction house, unbeknownst to Brando, had possession of the missing trophy. Intent on selling the piece of cinematic history, the auction house reached out to Brando, revealing their remarkable find. The tale of Brando's lost and found Oscar mirrored the intrigue of the film itself. The 1954 masterpiece captured the raw essence of the docks, mirroring Brando's visceral performance. Notably, a scene early in the film, where Joey Doyle's lifeless body is draped with a newspaper, featured a headline that intertwined Hollywood with sports. The headline showcased none other than Joe DiMaggio and Marilyn Monroe, united in matrimony on January 14, 1954. Behind the scenes, Brando grappled with personal turmoil that echoed the film's themes of struggle and redemption. In his contract, Brando stipulated an unconventional clause, work only until 4 p.m. daily. This peculiar demand was a reflection of Brando's commitment to his therapy sessions, aimed at resolving deep-seated conflicts stemming from his mother's recent passing. Even during the film's iconic cab scene, where Brando and Rod Steiger engage in intense dialogue, Brando's departure at 4 p.m. led to a unique challenge. Steiger's close-ups were captured after Brando had left for the day, requiring a crew member to stand in for the absent star's lines. This disparity in effort left Steiger embittered, as he had remained on set during Brando's close-ups to provide support. The unresolved tension between the two actors lingered, adding a layer of complexity to the film's legacy. On the Waterfront stands as a testament to the intricate interplay of personal struggles and cinematic artistry. Marlon Brando's Oscar escapade, the subtle intertwining of Hollywood and sports in the film's backdrop, and the behind-the-scenes conflicts paint a vivid picture of the movie's multifaceted narrative. As the years roll on, these tales continue to shape the lore of a film that navigated not only the gritty docks of New York but also the intricate corridors of human emotions. Of human emotions. Of human em As the reels of time wind down, let the echoes of On the Waterfront continue to resonate in the corridors of your mind. Just as Terry Malloy stood at the crossroads of morality and loyalty, so too do we all find ourselves at the intersection of our own choices. The film's great portrayal of corruption, redemption, and the struggle for justice taps into the universal currents of human experience. Perhaps it's Marlon Brando's poignant I could have been a contender speech that still lingers with you, reminding you of the times you've yearned for a second chance. Or maybe it's the haunting melodies of Leonard Bernstein's score that play like the background music to your own memories. As the camera pans over the docks and the city skyline, consider the landscapes of your own life and the battles you've fought against the forces that threaten to drown your dreams. On the Waterfront isn't just a movie, it's a mirror reflecting the nuances of our individual journeys. It beckons you to step into the shoes of the characters, to grapple with their dilemmas, and to recognize the moments when you, too, have stood up against the odds. So, take a moment to let the film's essence flow through you. What scenes dance vividly in your mind's eye? What emotions bubble to the surface as you recall those gripping moments? Share your thoughts, let your voice join the chorus of those who've been moved by this cinematic masterpiece. Thank you for spending this moment in contemplation, for delving into the depths of On the Waterfront. Your connection to this film is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. 
Until our thoughts converge again, keep the spirit of Terry's resilience and Eddie's compassion alive in your heart. Stay captivated and curious.